All right, guys, it's blue. We're here for the uh, soft body armor test, uh, torture test, basically. The back plate, that's the one that I had soaked. I've run over it with the car several times. So it's been through a little bit of a torture test here. The front plate, this is going to be the one that nothing's been done to. It's just been stored. And again, it's the uh, second chance body armor Ultima. Threat level 2A. And the manufacture date was 2 of 2001. So we're going to shoot the... 40 the 45 and a 22 and if they last a little bit i got a little special uh shotgun for them so all right stand by all right guys this one's gonna be with the uh springfield 45 uh we'll shoot the damaged one first which is the one on the left then we'll move to the one on the uh right i'm gonna go for lower left Well, we got one shot before it fell over. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Uh, just wanted to real quick. There's the second. I don't even know if I can see this or not, but there's the damage that it did. Did not go through. Did not penetrate. There's the round. If we open this up. There it is. So this was the uh, the wet vest expired 2001. I'd say that's a good test. So we're gonna throw this down, throw the other one up. All right, this is the same same caliber 45. Okay, there's the entry hole. Did rip the seam out of the back. I thought I felt the bullet rattling around in there. Oh, there it is. Found it. It's in the corner. The bullet's the whole way up here, far away from where I shot it. All right, guys, this is going to be the same vest, uh, the Ultima. Uh, that's the wet one, the one that's been tortured here. For this one, we're going to use the uh, Glock 20. It's a 10 mm. So we'll see what this ends up doing. All right, that one went right through the center. And I believe it punched through. I think the 10 mm went through the vest. I don't feel a bullet in there. No, I, there, there's no bullet in the vest. So it did not contain the 10 millimeter. All right, here we go, same thing, dead center. All right, dead center shot. And the vest, I mean, it's all sorts of bunched up in here. I do not see, and it did, it held it. Right there's the bullet, right, right there. So the one that was not tortured prior to did hold the 10 mm. All right, real quick, I forgot to say that the, the 10 mm that was just used, the round on that was the Corbon. It is a nasty ass round to begin with, uh, but we're gonna move on. This is gonna be the 40 caliber. Uh, these are just plinking rounds. They are Winchester, uh, just a flat nose round. So we are gonna give a shot with that. All right, 40 caliber went in up here. And again, this is the vest that's wet. It was tortured. And there is no bullet in that vest. It went through. All right, we're going to switch over to the uh, one that was just stored and expired. Okay. That was the hit on this one. And I am not feeling the round in there at all. So 
So the 40 caliber also went through the other vest. Huh. I wasn't expecting that. So, all right. Stopped the 10 mm, stopped a 45, failed to stop a 40. Crazy. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, we're going to do one final round uh, into the Ultima body armor. We're going to downgrade 22. It's going to be shot out of a, a cricket, so it's a little tiny rifle. And it's going to be shot by Blue Point Two. You ready to do this, man? Yep. Good shot. I saw it hit. Good deal. All right, the 22 entered down here. There's the exit. And after he shot, I'm pretty sure I heard it zinging through the woods. So this is, like I said again, this is one that's been wet, ran over, everything else, and it went right through. So now we're going to set up the other one. We're going to see what happens with the 22. You ready? Good deal. All right, make sure the barrel's pointed in a good direction. All right, another shot right in the center. There's the entrance. There's the exit. There's definitely no bullet in that one either. I didn't hear it flying through the woods like I did the last one. But I didn't figure it would stop it coming out of a rifle like that. So, All right, we're going to switch vests, and we'll be back. Blue, you're my boy!